How's it going, everyone? My name is Philip Ribbon, and welcome to the last episode of Pathologic Classic HD. Last episode, uh, we, uh, you know, just ascended, absolutely ascended to God status, and nobody can touch us now. Uh, we talked to Yoon, and he was like, yeah, uh, you know, we're definitely gonna go along with your plan, you should tell the Inquisitor. Aglaia said, get the fuck out of my town, or I'll kneecap you, and I said, no. So, we're gonna... Go to the commander, I believe. There was a thing that I missed here. Uh, this is the end. Aglaia commands me to leave the town at once. But why? What's wrong with my strategy? Is this because my plan answers the goals of the powers that be too well? What kind of an inquisitor is she? She's nothing but a vengeful, malicious imposter. What can I do now but collapse at the feet of the commander and beg for protection? Nothing. Nothing. But I don't think there's going to be a lot of begging involved. I mean, I don't see why he would stop protecting us. Other than, you know, oh, Daniel told him to shoot the tower, but that's just because he needs a solution. And it just doesn't care what the solution is. My solution is the best. It'll totally- Are you fucking with me? Well, that's okay. Uh, are you gonna get, get in my line of sight eventually here? I just- No, I'm not trying to kill you. I need to heal you because my reputation is a little low. Gonna heal, heal, heal. Gonna heal everybody because I'm such a good person. Holy shit! Holy shit! Are you seeing this? This plague, it, it, it is ten times worse than it has ever been. Even for fucking Artemy. Doesn't make any sense. It's odd. It's odd. It's trying to stop me. It is trying to stop me, but it can stop nothing. I am a god. You have to deal with it. Does it always get like this? Maybe it always gets like this, where the, the plague just goes absolutely ape shit on day 12 or day 11, but... I don't remember it being this bad. I don't remember Double Plague Angel with fucking following clouds and Dual Rat. D dual Rat? Unprecedented Dual Rat. Hello, Commander. I can't wait any longer. I've lost two-thirds of my troops here in two days. Yeah, that is actually horrendous. Why are you here? The Inquisitor has ordered me to leave the town before the end of today. It's very important. Oh, good. The Inquisitor told me to leave the town. Why on earth did she do that? I've come up with a way to keep this town intact. All three of its parts. All three towns. The town of beasts, the town of men, and the town of children. But she said that as long as she's alive, that won't happen. <laughs> and no surprise. So you've defied her plans? I think I have. She's bent on destroying the polyhedron. Yes. The Bachelor was going to rescue this architect precisely in order to find out whether the tower's brittle groundwork could withstand the bombardment if we had to level the residential areas. I know a way to preserve the town, but I need more time. A, a day, at the very least. Indeed. This once again confirms that I was right about you. This is how a divine messenger would behave. I am your protector. Tell me what you want. I know a number of people who've already resigned to their impending death. They even believe they deserve it. All I need is to find several volunteers among the bound. And how many do you need? Seven. At least. I could put not seven, but seventy-seven men at your disposal. No. For one thing, they have to be bound. Not all people are the same. These ones. They have a rare blood type. All of these people will have to die. Furthermore, their free consent to it will be required. Rare blood type, you know, these things go down in this town. Go and look for the ones you need then. I'll order my soldiers to defend you. Should anyone dare make an attempt at your life? It's a shame that so few of them remain loyal, and there will be even less after we crush the revolt completely. But we will persevere. Afterwards, come back to me. Tell me if you've been successful. You don't want to destroy the town, do you? No, I don't. I'm prepared to sacrifice my career in order to avoid raising and killing this town. Why? I was born and raised in a town like this one. Firing at it is torture for me. But that isn't the main reason. I'm surprised to hear you talk like that. Everything in this town is precious. This place is symbolic. That which is below has left our world for good, having turned into lifeless bones, into museum pieces. That which is above will never come around again. It's a potential future that I don't want to lose. How do you know? The Harusbex has demonstrated the former to me. The Bachelor, the latter. Written to this town is the destiny of our entire country, and I feel that the Creator is watching me now, as I'm making my choice. The part I am to play in the fate of this town will have an effect on the part I am to play in the fate of our country. I have felt the same. Everything will be all right. Cool your horses, Chief. I don't think I don't think you really get it. This is a kid's uh, a kid's dream. Okay, okay. Did, did you did you gather that in all your research of the tower? Probably not, but that's okay. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Grew up in a town like this one, eh? I have I have trouble believing that. I just have a little trouble believing that block. There ain't no town like this one. So what do we got? The final journey lies ahead. 
It's time to reap what was sown. The foreman was the first sacrifice. Six more are needed. Seven sinners would be enough to save the town. That's right. That's fucking right. Shitballs McDinglestein. I hope I can do this fast enough. Okay, so I have to go meet all of my bound. Who are my bound? Got Yulia, Bad Grief, Rupin, Aspidy, Yulia, Anna, Alexander, Katarina, Lara, and we have Oyun. So we should probably hit Lara and Yulia while we're down here. And then we can go hit Katarina and Sabarov, who are going to be pretty easy. And then... Is Anna not on my bound? That seems wrong. Yeah, she is. Okay, cool. Anna is on my bound. So I'll hit Anna, and then Aspity, and then we'll loop down to Bad Grief. And that's everyone, right? Oh, Ruben. Oh, Ruben. Is he still... In the no, he'll probably be in his Prosectorium by now. But I should probably... I'm not going to check the theater. That's going to be so much time. I mean... I could, o could always do, you know, Pathologic 2 style, just save and then go and then see if I had enough time and go back if I don't. Holy hell, holy hell. Can you imagine? <laughs> that game made you gamble on like an hour of progress. It's pretty insidious, not gonna lie, but gotta love it. Hello, Lara, would you like to kill yourself? I mean, these people, they don't seem very grateful, first of all. Don't seem very saved. You've only saved four of them. You want to save a lot more people. Clemency is born not of virtue, but rather of fear. Yeah, what does that say about you, Lara? Lara, Lara, listen to me. I am the harbinger of your death. You can choose what it will be like. What? Do I have to pack my things? I'm going to be executed, right? No, Lara. No one wants you to die. Not even I. But it can't be avoided. Will you agree to sacrifice yourself for the people's sake and be glorified as a champion of faith? So you're expecting to be sentenced to death. Tell me, would you like to die the same way as your father, Captain Ravel? Oh, shit. Uh, ah. Uh, my death cannot restore his good name. And that's how I'd like to die. I shall lay my hands on you and give you a chance to die like Simon Cain died. If you agree, like he did, to give your blood to those in thirst. Was that really how Simon died? Yes. A drop of his blood is coursing through the veins of every person saved from the disease with a shot of the white vaccine. A good death. By what time do I have to make up my mind? By tomorrow, Lara. As far as making up your mind goes. As for the dying... It will be when the time comes for your sacrifice. So do you agree? I agree. You won't go back on your promise tomorrow. No. Don't tr Don't you trust my word? I do, Lara. Farewell. Farewell. Do I trust Lara's word? I uh, kind of. She is. She is a a bit of a loose cannon. She'll do whatever she wants. But I still require five bound ones willing to give their lives for the town to thrive and prosper as it did before. Beautiful. So <laughs> interesting. So in Clara's route, all of the bound die. All of them. All of them. Because she sacrifices her bound, and the other bound, uh, I guess you were left to assume they die of the infection. So, interesting. I mean, no. No. Maybe we could save them with Panacea. But how many? Who? How many of them? It, do it doesn't make sense. It all doesn't make sense. It it surely makes sense. I'm just very slow. Your name is Yulia Gulia? Come on, give me your blood. The orphan has become an important figure. Mm -hmm. One the can say he's attained ultimate power. The orphan? Are you talking about Sticky? Ultimate power, eh? Or are you talking about me? No, you said he. I don't know. Here comes the girl. Destined to disprove my tripwires of fate theory. Oh, damn. Yulia, listen to me. I'm the harbinger of your death. You can choose what it will be like. I've already made my choice. I will succumb to the rheumatoid arthritis at roughly the same age Simon was when he passed away. I'm serious. You have a lot less time to live than you think. Would you like your death to be pointless, unnoticed? There's a different way you can become like Simon. To become someone that much... To become someone that much more like him. Okay, weird sentence. Will you agree to sacrifice yourself for the sake of the people? And be glorified as a champion of faith? Eh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. I wouldn't mind a finale this dramatic. I shall lay my hands on you and give you a chance to die like Simon, Ca Simon Cain died if you agree like he did to give your blood to those in thirst. <laughs> those in thirst. Happy days. You have many such associates. You're laughing, but you shouldn't. These people are in thirst and you're laughing. Uh, Simon's blood was used to create a medicine that has saved many from the infection. That's what I've heard. His blood was not consistent with any previously observed hemetic biometry, pr biometry profile. I think I know what it is that you want now. But what gives you the idea that my blood is in common in the same way? I don't think. I know it for certain. Do you agree, then? Sure. Why not? 
You know very well it is near impossible to refuse your requests. Makes me wonder why you even ask. And you won't go back to your on your promise now. You heard what I said, Clara. And it's not in my nature to change my mind. I'd like to have a little recuperative shut-eye now, if you don't mind. Fuck you and your big words, Yulia. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Katarina, does your head still hurt? What? Yeah, it seems so. I feel... uneasy. Katarina, listen to me. I am the Harbinger of your death. You can choose what it'll be like. Let me take a good look at you again, my dear girl. Yes, it's all happened as preordained. Not at all as I anticipated. Again, I have nothing to report, reproach fate for. All the signs are in place. A young mistress. My successor. How must I go? Would you like to die as a criminal ruler that led thousands of people to their deaths with their false prophecies? Would you like to die as a martyr and a champion of faith? Would you like to save thousands of lives instead of the thousands of lost lives you bear the blame for? I am not your successor. That is very true. If Katarina is the mistress of the earth, which I think she's kind of supposed to be, kind of, and that's why her prophecies are wrong, they're not really wrong. They're just totally fucked up into her brain because I'm here now. I'm the new mistress and she's sort of waning in power. I don't know. I don't know at all. Uh, would you like to die as a martyr and a champion of faith? Yes, I would. I shall lay my hands on you and give you a chance to die like Simon Cain died, if you agree. And I shall depart into the land of shadows. Not as a fiend fooled by a rat, but as a martyr who has paid for her sins with blood that can heal. I agree. It's a dignified death. Do what you must. It won't happen right now. But soon enough. Whatever you say, my dear girl. Do you agree? I do. When you become their ruler, be kind and fair. Stay true to yourself. Don't take the path Nina took. Work your miracles if you can. Don't yield to temptations. You won't go back on your promise tomorrow. Of course not, silly girl. Till tomorrow then, Katarina. Oh, Katarina. Oh, the Savarovs. By the end of every single route, the only thing I have for the Savarovs is immense pity. And just like you guys are so fucking pathetic. Big house, big swinging dick, big title of governor, big fucking nothing to show for it. It's so sad, pathetic, and just... They're just, they're just designed to be failures and douchebags and assholes. They're the worst, but you hurts. pity them by the end. It's it's pretty fantastic. I'm tired. Listen to me. I'm the harbinger of your death. You can choose what it will be like. Yes. Everyone must pay their dues. It is fair that you should be the one bringing the news. I have betrayed and renounced you. Why did you do that? Because I had seen you in a sign of my defeat. It was no coincidence that you came to our house. The, the girl had doomed our entire town. I made one last attempt to avoid that path. I struggled to be defiant. In vain. What's doomed is doomed. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. No. Only my duty as a ruler compelled me compelled me to act as I have. You may not believe it, but over these days, I've grown to love you. I've always wanted us so badly to have a daughter. The young Mistress Severova. You deserve to die. And yet I shall give you a death that will end your pa path as a ruler with honor and allow you to fulfill your duty. Then, perhaps this should be done. Forget it. I don't want to be the harbinger of your death anymore. Fulfill your duty, Sabarov. Death will be a welcome way out for me. Your solution will be better than a bullet to the head. Will it not? It will. I shall lay my hands on you and give you a chance to die like Simon Cain died, if you agree. Let's not do this. The more I do this, the more I want to not do this. But what else can I do? It's my fate. How will it happen? Every drop of your blood will be turned into a medicine that can save the town. You have accomplished your mission as a ruler. It's the best best death I can read it is the best death I could wish for better than the most humane mercy so you agree I agree and I'm grateful to you you won't go back on your promise tomorrow of course now excuse me Clara I'd like to be alone farewell farewell indeed the ominous toll of the clock I believe we'll have time but I don't know I'm a little I'm a little freaked out not gonna lie it's okay all right is it just is it just the same thing yes indeed well now hang on a minute well now hang on a minute you said I only needed two more you said I only needed two more there's a Anna Aspity and bad grief and Reuben left so could I not have sacrificed some of them Oh my god, I'm supposed to be like playing judge right now, but I'm not. I'm just, I, I thought I'd have to kill all my bound. You don't actually have to, it doesn't seem like. 
Well, that's cool. Um, Sabarovs deserve to die. Sure, I can live with that. Uh, Lara... No, like, not really. Lara doesn't really deserve to die. She's just ignorant and really self-righteous and believes in what she believes, which is helping people even if she kills them, and which is, you know, avenging her father even if it means ruining her whole life, which is definitely not what her father would have wanted anyway. It, she doesn't seem evil. She doesn't seem condemn condemnable to death. Yulia also probably no. I, 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 the, the people I would save if I had known about this beforehand is Yulia, Lara, and Ruben. They just, they just don't seem like they have much going on in the way of actually committing heinous crimes that can't be forgiven. Anna? Fuck her. Fuck her dead. The Sabarov? Fuck them. Fuck them both dead. Well, it, it's, it's amazing, like but, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I was, I wish I was paying attention a little more. I can read my fate in your eyes. Listen to me, Anna. I am the harbinger of your death. You can choose what it will be like. I want my death to be painless. Can you make me die without suffering? Would you like to die a child murderer? Would you like to die a champion and a martyr? Eh? Is that even possible? I shall lay my hands on you. Give you a chance to die like Simon Cain died. If you agree. You're going to take my blood. All of it, Anna. You will feel no pain. Only joy. I believe you. You agree. If you promise me that my name will be remembered kindly. Let me be remembered as a singer. You won't go back on your promise tomorrow. No. I won't. You'll all die, Anna. Rejoice, for I'm giving you the longest deferment. Rejoice, Jesus Christ. Clara just sounds like a cult leader. This is, this is definitely the least optimal ending. You don't want the town of cult leader Clara to really be the solution. But, you know, if, if that's, that's what the powers that be want, and, you know, what they want goes, I guess, unless you're Artemy or Daniel. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck even is this game? This game is such a... Such a mess. Such a fucking mess. But I love it so much. Such a well-connected mess. Such a well-constructed... Motherfucking mess! <laughs> ass buddy, ass buddy, I know of you this. You like making dolls of adults and kids. Is this army? It must be. It must be. But where am I? Where am I? I'm gonna try and find Clara. Clara's nowhere. Ass buddy, where am I? Where's my doll? Why didn't you make me a doll? What's going on? You win, don't you? Aspity, listen to me. I am the harbinger of your death. You can choose what it will be like. Isn't that a little presumptuous? I may yet be the harbinger of yours. Pointless bravado. Are you trying to save face? No, not at all. Well then, let's get started. Will I have time to curse you before I die? Depends on what you choose. Would you like to go back into the earth that you came from? And as ashes, bones, and mud... For a shabnack to be molded out of them later. Depends on what you choose. Would you like, instead of returning to the earth, to dissolve into the people of the kin and serve Burak, its new foreman? Hey, that sounds attractive. Yes, I'd prefer a death like that to any other. Was it your doing? Yes. Tell me what you want from me. I shall lay my hands on you and give you a chance to die like Simon did. If you agree. What does Simon have to do with it? A human who tried on the head of Bose will forever remain human. Even if the head did fit. I'm already flesh of his flesh. Are you going to give me his blood, too? I can see in your eyes that you know the answer already. I do. Well, such is my fate, it seems. Will the sacrifice be made the moment you lay your hands on me? I won't let you get away. So do you agree? Do I have a choice, mistress? I can't escape you. You do have a choice. The sacrifice must be voluntary, or we, it will be pointless. I agree regardless. I like this finale. Seems quite natural. You're scaring me. It's the outcome no one has been able to predict. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a little frightening, Aspity. But, you know, you've always been like that. Just a weird... That's a long hood. You know, I have never... No that is a huge hood. Look how long that fucking little dingly dop is. When she puts that thing on, she looks like a fucking... I don't know. I don't know. It's just much longer than I expected, Aspity. These are the things we finally realize after playing the game for fucking eons, you know? Oh, Aspity's coat is longer than I thought. Isn't that a fun fact? Can we take a moment to appreciate how Artemy is definitely, okay, without a doubt, the canon ending to this game? I mean, we can argue forever, all right? I'm not gonna lie to you. We can argue forever, but Artemy's route seems like the true route of this game. Like, you're bound to the children. They, you're basically 
preserving the future or the past, but still the future despite if you preserve the past. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it now, and I still think Artemy has the most just complete, like... Not complete. Complete is the wrong word. It's... How do you describe Pathologic with words? It's the story. Okay, that's easiest to grasp what this game is trying to tell you. That's what I think. I think, Clara, you will go fucking insane trying to figure it out if you didn't play both of the routes. And Daniel is just like, can everyone stop talking to me? They're all crazy. They're all crazy and I know they're crazy. And nothing I can do will stop them from being crazy. <laughs> and I don't know. Artemy, you really feel in it. And I, I think that's why they decided to do what they did with good old Pathologic 2. And what a good decision it was. Ruben, you home? Yeah, I, I meant to go to Grief first, not gonna lie, but... Guess you're dying. Now's a bad time. Listen to me, Stock. I'm a harbinger of your death, and you can choose what it will be like. Well, that's fair. Simon's murderer deserves to die. I was going to wait for Maria to reach her the zenith of her power. I'm curious what punishment the mistress would have chosen for me. But I suppose your idea will be more interesting still. There is, after all, mystical power within you, too. Would you like to die like Simon died? Would you like to emulate him? That would be most fair. You're going to lay your hands on me? Yes. All right. Just remember, you have to work with healthy people. It's important. I'll gladly become your first volunteer. <laughs> if you need to find others among your pound, make sure they're in good health. If they were sick and have been healed, some time must pass first. Why? The cells must renew themselves. Doesn't take long, though. Does the Inquisitor endorse this solution? I don't know, but I suppose she will. I've endorsed it, and that's what matters. Also, make sure the Bachelor survives. No questions, by the way. No questioning my authority, as it should be. Make sure the Bachelor survives. He knows the secret of the vaccine, as well as Burak, the Haberspex, who knows how to work with the ingredients. Good. It's a wise course of action. If you succeed and save the town, it will be a genuine miracle. Will you stand by these words tomorrow? Of course. Anytime it's necessary. And I'll see you tomorrow, Stuck. My journal did an update. Frightening. This is the end. Aglaia commands me to leave the town at once. But why? What's wrong with my strategy? I need to beg the commander for protection again? Really? You just copy-pasted the same fucking th Just amazing, guys. Come on. I <laughs> the writing staff must have been just running on fucking amphetamines and cocaine at this point. They're just like, no. No, we're in the crash. It, we're, we're at the crash. Alright, just copy-paste it. It'll be fine. Okay, I was like, is there one grown adult anywhere here? Cause it's sure looking like the land of children! Oh, here we go. Back to normalcy and sanity. Death and fear. Run! Oh, Commander, please protect me. I mean, th that's, that's what I mean, though. He already said he would protect me. So I just have to say, it's done. I found the seven people. That quickly. I don't think that was quick. Yes, I'm quick. You've been, you've just been here and said that there were sinners in this town. Nine in total, who could sacrifice themselves for the cause of obtaining transformed blood. Sadly, you said some of them were already incurably ill. You even hinted that their disease has been a consequence of your visit. What? I see. Which of them exactly? You named a few names. Reuben, Foreman Oyun, the Sabarovs. I've heard about those, then Anna, Yulia, Aspidy, Lara, and Grief. You said some of them were ill now, but it wasn't me. Everything is lost now, isn't it? What? 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 It wasn't me! My eyes weren't lying to me. It was you. You described the way you could transform their blood so that it could be used to create a vaccine for the entire population. You left and came back a quarter of a minute later. No, it was her again! My abhorrent doppelganger! It was she who infected my bound! Tomorrow, you'll have time to bring them back to life. It's the only hope I have left. Are you fucking kidding me? Did... Did the goddamn plague just pull an artemy on me and infect all of my bound? I will. I will shit my pants. Okay, no. No, 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 no. We'll see. Preparations are complete. Tomorrow, the miracle may come to pass. I would be happy beyond measure. Were it not for this awkward premonition that freezes my heart still, I can perform miracles. Just let me. Something's gonna go wrong. Something's gonna go wrong. It's just gonna go wrong. I mean, he just told me. He just told me the preparations weren't met correctly. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go back to Yulia. If she's sick right now, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I'm gonna jump off the stairs and just end it, man. Cause I have no recourse. I'll just have to cheat again, and that sucks. That sucks balls, little kid. Unless you have, you know, nine schmouders on you. Eh? What, what do you got? Eh? No. The answer is no. Okay. Yulia's not sick. Maybe I got to them fast enough. Maybe I got to them before my sister did. I just have such little confidence. I have so little confidence. Such little confidence, Yulia. It's fine. Let's go to bed. Here we go. Okay. Just cross your fingers. Of course, we're going to have to sleep an extra hour because we can only sleep to 2300. Yes. Yes. It's great. The tension is palpable. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. Wake up now. Stage 12. The day is over. Why are we here? Your supporters to remain unharmed. They're right. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Okay. I thought day 12 wasn't like a day you played. There are unseen connections. Shut up. Okay, I guess we eat a little or eat, sleep a little longer then. I was not expecting this. I don't know why I was not expecting this. I don't know why. I I thought day 12 wasn't a playable day. I feel like I play I do that every fucking time. Today is the final day. You have less than 14 hours to make the right choice. See, I feel like it doesn't say that. It doesn't. Day 12, in which it becomes possible to do the impossible. I don't, I don't remember day 12s of the other routes. I just don't, but I'm, I'm also stupid. I bow to thee, mistress of the earth. Do you have any parting words for me? You're an observer of people. So what do your calculations indicate? Eh? Wait. Give yourself a moment's pause. Are you sure you want to know what my research has yielded? You see, whether you not, whether or not you take my calculations seriously, the moment that you learn the results, you will have no choice but to act them out. This is merely my way of seeing the matter, though. So, what do you say? Would you like to set off this tripwire of mine? I do it. It won't do me. I do. <laughs> it won't do me any harm, in my humble opinion. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to. You're right. Won't do me any harm. You remain an indefinite value. As such, you have walked the road that lies behind you. Your refusal to be categorized was your strongest weapon. However, this advantage will be stripped from you as soon as you permute permutate into a constant. And, frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens before the day is over. What kind of a value will you become? That's the only actual choice you have. I'm not Constance. I'm Clara. <laughs> nice. I don't like you. I'll find you even worse than grief. I'm not Constance. I'm Clara. This is of no importance. Don't try to translate your perplexity into a language that is legible to us. Cease this wordplay of yours. Didn't you see everyone disappear? What? You won't see anything but raw vectors now. Lines along which your effort may be applied. Well, really. Why did our path... Yeah, reading. Why did our paths cross, Yulia? Why are you one of the criminals? And the wicked... I don't qualify as wicked, but you can call me a criminal, in a way. I just don't conflate the two. You see, I am of the opinion that it was your duty to end us. Didn't I just tell you? There are no people anymore. Symbols is all that we have left. We all represent opportunities that you have missed. The nine ways to get swallowed by the deathly quagmire. What? You should be grateful to me for having replaced you. Otherwise, it would have been you, and not me, to rot in this desolate place I am consigned to. You would have been left hanging by your strings. I'd have been glad to trade places with you, but I wasn't given the choice. I wanted to rule over people's fates, too. I understand. Oh. Yulia really thought herself the biggest, baddest motherfucker in the yard, and then got no opportunity to do anything about it. It's interesting, but that that's what happens when your fucking Grandmaster theory is that no one can control anything, Yulia. Like, what, what, what were you expecting? Eh? You crazy person. Uh, you wanted to rule over people's fates, too. I understand. God damn my ass. Like, what an actual waste of time to even put that dialogue in. Anyway, I wasn't given a choice. Oh, but you were. Let me remind you how intrinsically evil people are. The very nature of you is evil. You were given exactly as much choice as was necessary for you to affirm your malevolent selfhood. It's not too late yet. Let go of yourself, and you will fall even lower than I have fallen. Lower than any of us. The nine sinners from which you will pick the righteous seven. I see. Enough. There's no evil in this world. No need to be afraid anymore. No. I'm pure and devoid of evil. I will make my own choice. 
I see what you're getting at. Uh, 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 affirm my malevolent selfhood. Mixed messages. I, I guess I see what you're getting at. It didn't update. It didn't update, and when it doesn't update, go fuck yourself. I'm pure and devoid of evil. I will make my own choice. Fuck my asshole. Well, I guess there's actually just nothing. <laughs> there's nothing to be gained from uh, those things. The final proceedings. This is the last day we have. The choice has to be made. I made the choice. I mean, I made my choice. I made my choice. Chose the seven. W where do I even go now? I don't go to Aglaia. I don't go to the commander. What, what, what do I do now? But seriously. Mixed messages here. Like, I'm intrinsically evil, but no, I'm not. Because I can choose to reject that version of myself. And that's my power. But I'll lose my power once I become a constant. But I'm intrinsically evil. So aren't I constantly evil no matter what I do? Like, it just doesn't make sense. So much mixed messaging. So many concepts. I just have no idea. Yeah, facing away. Good guards. Very good guards. Commander, I'm ready. You just execute uh, Order 66. You and I cannot lose. The two will be joined. My power and your conscience. Your purity, Clara. What are you talking about? You leave this place with me. Of course. Where am I to be now if not on a battlefield? No, my general. I will have to remain here forever. Otherwise, how am I to transform my pound? I'm not asking you to think it over. Such decisions are best left to the heart. Instead of nursing a single town for the remainder of your days, you could turn the, the entire country to the true faith. Our entire star-crossed, long-suffering land. No, no. I'm not up to a task like this. How could I ever be? True. You must be... right. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you feel the same way as I do. You will help me take power in the country. My army will be at your disposal. Make us a tool in his spear hand. How can you not understand? You're living a dream. All of this is a mere haze. You came out of thin air and you'll pass into nothingness. I feel I must do what must be done here. If it is necessary that we are rejoined, we will be when the time is ripe. You're in a dream. <laughs> Nobody wants to take that seriously. That's fair. You know, I probably wouldn't either. If someone walked up to me and said, hey, by the way, you're in a dream. I'm a mistress. I control the world. I can cure any disease with my hands. I can turn you into god blood and I'm sacrificing several, seven people tomorrow so that everything here can stay exactly the same as it always has been. I would say what? I would say, huh? Oh, there it is. That's what we like to see. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Is it... Because it... Because it... Is it... Because it looks like it's taking blood out of the polyhedron and pumping it into the town. It doesn't look like it's sucking it up. But then what do I know? What do I know? I know nothing. What a sad day for Paul Marky Mortel. So literally, 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 what the fuck do I do here? Reputation's going down like crazy. People are not happy with good old Clara, huh? Oh. Fuck. So you're telling me that people didn't like the whole, uh, you know, kill your neighbors for blood ritual and drink it to cure themselves? People didn't like that plan? Like, oh my god, like the reputation's going down so fast! The army will be fucking firing on me in no time! I- Oh, just don't look. Why are they all turned around? Odd, odd, why was I being blocked from walking backwards? Interesting. Hi? Oh. The bachelor says goodbye. A high-flying bird you've become. The executors are watching you, barely able to hide a smile. I don't like their smirks one bit. Soon enough you are going to see that they were not smiling because they were happy for you. Beware, if you may. We were both trapped. Each one of us has suffered a tailor-made deception. They say you were not like me, and this is not something I would argue with. Moreover, I've just found out something utter utterly ridiculous about myself. Hopefully your fate will not be a reiteration of my own. Be very, very careful anyway. Self-assurance is your worst enemy. I've learned of at least one way to achieve victory. Perhaps it may work well enough for you. Come see me, if you will. Give me the benefit of the doubt, so to speak. Oh, and the heart is back so good. The beakheads say you're the only one who have figured out how the true victory can be achieved. They believe that you alone can prevail. This may well be true. They know many things that I don't. What I do know, however, is that they are rotten to their core. I have found my own path to victory, I think. Believe it or not, it's simple, but don't reject it in a hurry. Perhaps this is also the only way for you to save yourself. 
Oh, Buraco Daniel, what a classic. You're gonna get me over there and be like, please save my bound. And I'm gonna be like, no, I need to save the town, not your bound. And it's just not gonna work out very well. But, you know, I got nothing else to do, and I'm sure Aglaia will not talk to me. So, fuck it. Blimey, look who's here. The demon huntress. I sure hope you've got your stake of aspen wood with you. And silver. Lots of it. You're still a slave to your worldview. Indeed. As it happens, I've discovered the meaning of my freedom. Of course you have. Liar. So listen. So listen how my plot's unfolded. As you probably know, I've been deceived three times by people I sincerely trusted. First, the powers that be. Then, the Inquisitor. And now, finally, I've found out what the point of the whole affair is. I am a plaything. And so, undoubtedly, are you. I know already. So what now? I suppose you suggest that I leave it to you to decide. I'm more than a plaything, Bachelor. Uh, what? Are you gonna decide? Of course. How did you know? What, for your sake? You're a plaything! Of course not. For the town's sake. There are no bachelors and no towns here, blind man. It's just you and I. You are my past. Meaning that, technically, there's just me and I. <laughs> God damn, there are no bachelors and towns here, blind man. There's just you and I. And you are my future that I don't even- that I don't even want to happen. It's dull. Huh. Ah, then the eye that's me is the better one. Good sentence. No way, Bachelor. Don't rush to conclusions. I'm on the verge of making my final discovery. In a nutshell, I feel I've been imbued with more meaning than is apparent to me. As if anything could be apparent to you. You're a bodily frame devoid of soul and will. You're not capable of understanding a thing at this point. Too convoluted, Bachelor. You're that learned fool from vulgar comedies. Try repeating all of that in Latin. You might bring down the house. Goodbye. Dumb ass. Wow. Roasted to a fucking cinder. To a cinder. It's okay. Uh, maybe I should have talked to the executor outside of Mark's. Maybe he would have had something, something uh, fun to say because, you know, they all seem to be rooting for me. Which is interesting. They're not... Why are they fingers? Why are they fingers? Why the hell are they fingers? Here are my hands. Time to act. They are my fingers. God damn. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, I have to wait until like six, don't I? Oh, my God. Game too early. The queens of this chessboard are assembling to decide the fate of what remains of this sorry little town at 7 p.m. Right now, the cathedral is closed. Right. I forgot. Okay. Let's go sleep for 12 hours. Oh, Ava's bed. What a good friend you've been. 12 days. 200 hours. Fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. I'm, I'm, right now, I'm thinking about what, like, how I would sum up my experience with this game. And, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> you know, let's just celebratory eat all my food. It, it sounds about right. I died of hunger <laughs> trying to sleep, and then I had to go pee. Don't worry about it. Fuck it. Let's do this. There is a distinct melancholy to this, though. <laughs> like, like, as much as I'm excited to be done with this game... And, and move on to bigger, better things, like, hang on, need to do a few more, I think, like, two more hours, but, as much as I am excited to be done with this game, finally say to myself, I finished Pathologic Classic HD, I got every achievement, I fucking did it, as, like, as, like, ecstasy-filled as that's going to feel, there's a degree of melancholy of, but now there's nothing left for me to discover, like, this whole game, is is my is my playground now like like and that's so strange to me it's so strange to me because it's sort of it's sort of sad like when i when i started playing this game i remember being like i am in a land of mystery intrigue this this crazy old land of decrepit graphics and <laughs> you know whatever but now it's just like hey old friend good old popping in polyhedron I salute you, and I hate you, but, you know, I love you. Come, Changeling. The Assembly is awaiting your decision. The queens of this chessboard are in a deadlock. They have each other pinned down. The game may very well end in a tragic stalemate. You're the promoted pawn, and it's the end game. Go and finish it. I know, I know. You didn't have to bother explaining. Yes, indeed. Motherfucker! They've already begun. Are you going in? Yes, I am. You buffoon. It's not like I have other options. Well, I have to. Sooner or later. Fucking asshole. Oh. Is Maria here too, still? I kinda doubt it. 
I mean, I feel like I'd be the mistress now. She is not here. Can confirm, Maria not here, Aglaia is pissed. <laughs> I even walked through the crowds of people. Oh my god! Hi guys. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming. You know, this is a really important day for me. You know, I wish I could walk through you like a uh, good old cutscene Clara does, but I don't have that power. I only have the power of flight. You bitch. It's good that you found me here and approached me. Now you have to perform the sacrament for which we, well, for which you, changeling, thief, saint, sand pest, envoy of the law and harbinger, came into this world. Are you ready? Who am I, sister? Yes, I'm ready now. Who am I, sister? That is exactly what's about to be ascertained. And you're the only one who can ascertain it. That's the essence of the sacrament. By establishing the present, you will establish the past. With that which is yet to be done, you will establish that which was seemed to have been done beforehand. It has only worked the opposite way before. With that which is yet to be done. With that which is yet to be done. You will establish... That which has seemed to have been done beforehand. It has only worked in the opposite way before. Just, just, just fucking, just string me up. I am so lost. Is it true that I'm an instru instrument of the law? Well, who are you? I do exist, sister, but in a transient way. For now, you are still the disease, and I'm the persecuted saint. The problem is, there's no me yet. I'm a figment of your imagination, a consequence of a lie you told. And yet how wonderful that lie itself turned out to be. Theft had made a miracle possible. The Inquisitor insists that miracles and me are mutually exclusive. What must I do? Huh. So you've never been real. I've always been the plague. It doesn't make sense. At least not through gameplay. Because you were definitely there. And whenever I cast you out, the plague was gone. And if I did nothing, the plague would be there. It's not like I had to do something to make the plague there. It doesn't make any sense. The Inquisitor insists that miracles and me are mutually exclusive. I don't know. I haven't even thought about it. But Leia doesn't tell the whole truth. From her point of view, there are no such things as miracles. That's just the way she was made. But we, we, not Simon, are living proof of the contrary. You have a chance to preserve things as they are. You can do what others can't. They're impeded by enmities and hatred. Whose enemy... Enmities? Is that supposed to be enemies? I can't tell. Whose enemies with whom, sister? I'm all enmities and enmities and hatred myself. But to preserve things as they are is the capricious will of the criminal powers that be. Whose enemies with whom, sister? The Inquisitor and the Commander the Haruspecs and the Bachelor, and then more conflicts across these lines. All of them are bent on destroying what they detest. You want to perform a miracle, remove the threat to each of the town's organs. Now you're tempting me. Do you want me to kill? Enough! Who am I? Speak! Do you want me to kill? You are free to choose your own fate. Now is your time to decide who you've been all along. It's only from the law's perspective that you're the, the disease that you don't recognize the law. You're a thief. You'll escape the law by stealing for yourself the path of a miracle worker. You'll defeat it by performing a genuine miracle. Only. And you? What's gonna happen to you? I'll accept the destiny you'll have rejected. And then I'll vanish at once, because I don't belong on this earth. Go, sister. Make your choice. You're not Terry. I still feel like I'm being deceived. Well, you definitely are. Because like Yulia said, the minute you... Choose what you are and decide what you are. Your power's gone, Clara. Hi, how are you doing? I don't know. I don't know, man. Well then, let us commence. I'm gonna ask you formally, in order to get this over with quicker. One word from you, and it happens. So you were positive that it was neither greed nor plotting, nor circumstance, that has informed your, informed your choice. Your conscience alone. I've been given orders to level everything here. But if this isn't necessary, I'll trust you on it. My trust for you is infinite. Not ready to make a choice yet. I need a little time to think. There's no need to destroy anything. We can do all together without gunfire and preserve this world as it is, even though many think it's impossible. I've decided not to decide. That is a lie. That's a Fallout 4. Uh, there's no need to destroy anything. Good. 
Do you really know a way to preserve this town? Yes. I'm restoring the, tra the chain of creation. I'm giving Simon back to this town. I'm closing the chain. I hereby declare that from now on, only goodwill, love, and dedication shall time and time again be the safeguards of this tiny world's existence. If you'd like to know how I'm going to do it. I hereby announce that the choice has been made. The council is dismissed. The choice has been made. How everything's been resolved. Hear that? The choice has been made. All without you. Oh, such a sad life you lead, Aglaia. A disgraced Cain daughter. A worthless tool for the people you hate. Destined to die by their hand. <laughs> I get it now. You've just always been jealous of me. That I was able to break my fate. Be something different. You sad piece of shit. Have you chosen your fate? I've stolen it for myself. Wait, it can't be chosen? I'm worried about you? Okay. Guess I'm just gonna... What? But that's all a mere formality. What is this town to me indeed? A decoy. A proving ground for someone's character. There's one precious thing that I will take out of this place. Won't I? No. I'm going to have to stay here. Yes. And so, hopefully will I. Farewell, my general. This is truly the end. Our time is up. <sighs> Let's fucking do it, boys. You were supposed to end the game! Well, I guess I have to anticlimactically sleep until midnight to end the video game. Right then, get my beauty rest before I ascend to, you know, god of the world. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it's day 13. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, are we going to get me a pony? Yes. <laughs> the best ending. <laughs> oh, it's all gray. <laughs> They're bowing to me. I know. Bowing to the sandbox. No, they're dying. They're dead. They are dead. This music, this song is incredible. I love this song. Wow. That was a really interesting ending. I know, I know I said in this episode that Artemy was like the canon route whatever. That was, without a single doubt, the nicest ending. Like, even the music knows it's the nicest ending. Why did everyone hate Clara? I mean, I know the Bound died. It seems like the adults died. I was a little unclear what happened exactly, but it was preserved. And it's okay. Why do they make Clara out to be a literal demon in all the paths? I don't... I don't understand. I don't understand. But that is why I love this game. Because I don't understand. I probably never will understand, clearly. But there will always be shit to talk about and think about with this game. And I guess that's kind of all I have to say about it. I, I've said so much about this game, just playing it, and, you know, this this has been a fucking year-long journey of finishing this game and just completing it and getting every piece to the puzzle because I love it so much, and I'm still lost, and I'm still lost, but, I don't know, I don't know, enjoy the credits, I have no more to say with my big, big, big old stinky mouth.
Well guys, that is Pathologic Classic HD in its entirety. I hope you enjoyed. I have such mixed emotions. This game is simultaneously the worst game I have ever played and my favorite game ever. Like, it will be a comfort food to come back to this game and just fuck around in it. Like, obviously I'm not going to play the game ever again. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not a game you do that with. But, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to thank Ice Pick Lodge for making this game, for continuing to work on Pathologic 2. Hype for fucking Bachelor Route, okay? And I want to thank you guys for watching and sticking with me for literally a year and multiple breaks of me playing this game just to, I don't know, see me do it. And that just, that just means a lot to me. And yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed, guys, please like comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world, and have an amazing day. I'm me, you're you, but I've gotta go, so, peace out!